Hi, and welcome to another um, session of Aspects of Songwriting. I'm Matt Larson, and in this segment we're going to be looking at the tools. There are a number of different thing, resources and um, tools that you can use to help accentuate your songwriting. And I'm just going to be recommending a few. Not everybody uses those and can write great songs. Again, I have a lot of disclaimers because I think there's a number of ways to approach songwriting um, and a number of reasons why you might want to do songwriting. Uh, but some of the tools I'm going to talk about today, uh, the first one is uh, a rhyming dictionary. And uh, this is the one that I have right here. And uh, basically it gives you the ability to find words that rhyme, hence the title. Um, the other one is a thesaurus. So I've got uh, my own thesaurus here as well. These are two great uh, resources to be able to use as you're progressing in your songwriting. So we talked about um, in the warm-up segment about how you, you know, do your kind of brainstorming or expository writing where you just uh, let the ideas come out. Well, from that then you can take those ideas and you can pull out different lines that you might like. Um, say, uh, whatever the word is, a uh, canoe trip that was, you know, the, the, the air was humid. Uh, what does that, what does humid mean? What are some words that are similar to humid? And you you know you look that up and find those words. Or what are some words that rhyme with humid? I like humid in the song for whatever reason that that word sticks with you and you want to use it. And so you you go through your rhyming dictionary and you find some words that that will rhyme with uh, that word. So you get a number of choices that you can choose from. And uh, the same thing with the thesaurus. It helps you pull out more uh, rich language uh, to be able to uh, rhyme more effectively and to better communicate your idea and the concepts that you're wanting to convey. So those are a couple tools. Uh, the other thing is finding you know what utensil do you like utensil fork do you write with a spoon? Um, <laughs> what tool do you write with? Uh, I personally prefer uh, these uh, I don't have an endorsement with them so I won't say their name. If they give me an endorsement I'll say but ballpoint pen uh, I like a certain type of pen that has a certain uh, tip to it that's not too fat and doesn't get all over the place. Um, there are some times where I like to write with, yes, a quill pen and uh, have ink that I, I dip it into. And that's not as often because that's a little bit more of a involved process, but there are times where that can inspire me in a certain way. Um, also with my tools, they have, you know, you, you have online thesaurus and I'm sure there's online rhyming dictionaries, but I happen to like these older books and they, they give me a certain vibe I, you know when I crack the pages and I can smell the aged uh, the agedness of this book as it were and I can see that somebody else had written a bunch of notes in it um, you know it's, it's that feeling of being um, uh, more uh, there's a certain history to it and uh, uh, richness that, that I like uh, about the books so I choose that you can go to Wikipedia and get definitions for things. I mean, all these tools are also online and I, I, I take advantage of those as well. But there are definitely times when I like some more classic type tools. Um, the other thing is uh, you want to get a word w with everything being on the computer these days and you're going to eventually upload your music. At some point you're also going to be putting your lyrics up there. And so I, in addition to writing, I happen to have um, a little notebook. Here it is. And uh, I like the moleskin. I think it's nice and vibey you know makes I like writing in it and uh, so I'll you know have all my my songs that I write uh, write a song a day and uh, I'll date it and then just write that in there I write my you know tab if I'm not uh, sure what the notes are I just I want to remember the the music uh, a certain way and uh, then I have these little markers on the side that I'll drop in there just to help me remind me of oh, oh yeah I like this song or this song was gonna be for that uh, I had this idea that was gonna relate to this aspect and I wanted to use that in this uh, commercial that I'm trying to write, or whatever. So, but then uh, after I do that, I will also type my lyrics into, a, you know, some word processing document. And the reason I do that, and I particularly since I'm writing a song a day, it has all the dates and I have all the songs, and then I can easily cut and paste those into, you know, if you go to mattlarson.wordpress.com, uh, and uh, that's where I'm posting my lyrics and. Uh, inevitably I can copy and paste them in. So I have a number of formats that I keep my lyrics in and also it's it can be a lot easier to of course go back and uh, edit those lyrics in a, in a word processing document. So so this is just a few of the tools and again I want to encourage you there's no 
like right or wrong way, you might want to use a pencil and a pencil and an eraser to uh, uh, to be able to uh, write your ideas down. So these are a few tools. I may come up with more later, but again, just to get you started, if this is new to you, I'd go out and buy these. You can go to you know uh, any book local bookstore. Uh, you can, if you don't want to buy one, you just want to want to have an idea what it's like, go to the library, check one There's, out. There's uh, uh, one more tool that I would also recommend in addition to these these other ones that I've mentioned is some type of way to capture the audio of uh, your song. So, um, you know, be it a you know, tape recorder, if you have, uh, I use my phone that has a recording program on it, if you have some tablet, if you have a, on your PC you have a camera that you're able to use, but find some form that you can capture it because the chances are if you are if you get into the habit of writing a lot of songs you're gonna forget the melodies, you're gonna forget how you did a certain thing, so getting something to capture the essence of the idea. Uh, until next time, this well. has been Matt Larson with Aspects of Songwriting, The Tools. Thanks.